Chris Paul, corn and wheat pathologist at The Ohio State University. Today I'm going to walk you through steps to identifying fixed growth stage 7 and growth stage 8. Last week we looked at fixed growth stage 6 and this week we're going to look at fixed growth stage 7. So here I've got multiple tillers pulled from wheat fields to identify those growth stages. Like I said last week, to identify growth stage you need to pull multi multiple tillers from the field, not just a single tiller, but a cluster of tillers from multiple locations across the field, and then identify growth stage looking at multiple tillers. First of all, you want to identify the primary tiller, which is the largest tiller, the one with the thickest stem, and you want to remove that tiller. Once you remove that tiller, then you want to remove all the lower leaves from the base of that stem. So here we've got the primary tiller, and here we've got the base of the stem. We want to remove all the leaves from the base of the stem. That is, all the leaves that are below the lowermost node. So here is the lowest node, and we remove all the leaves. Here you see the node is clearly identified as a thick area with a slightly darker um, shade of green from the rest of the stem. Once we remove those, those, um, those leaves, now we start looking for the second node. If you look at the stem, you would think that there is only one node. But if you pull your hand up the stem, you can feel the second node is about at this position. Here is where the second node is. So let's remove this leaf. Remember, this leaf is on the lowermost node. We don't want to remove that leaf. But for this example, we're going to remove the lowermost, remove this leaf to find the second node. So here is our second node. So we've got one node here, two node here, and we've got two nodes. If you find two nodes, then you're past fixed growth stage six. Now we want to know if we're at fixed growth stage seven or fixed growth stage eight. So here's another um, tiller where we've got our first node about two and a half inches below, above the base of the stem, and we've got our second node here hidden by the leaf sheet, and we count the number of leaves. So first we find two nodes, one node, two node, then we count the number of leaves. Leaf 1, leaf 2, and leaf 3. There are only three fully merged leaves. If there's only three fully merged leaves and two nodes, then we are at fixed growth stage 7. We want to identify fixed growth stage 8 by following the same steps. Again, we remove all the low leaves, the leaves that are at the base of the stem, remove all of those lower leaves, the leaves that are below the lowermost node, find the second node, and now we count leaves again. One, two, three fully merged leaves, and one leaf just about emerging. That's fixed growth stage eight. So if you've got two nodes, and you've got four leaves above the lowermost node, in other words, three fully merged leaves, and one only just emerged, and then you're at fixed growth stage eight. Here is another example. Here we've got all the lower leaves removed. Here we've got the lowermost node. Here we've got the second node. And here we've got one, two, three leaves fully merged. And then the fourth leaf only just emerging. This is fixed growth stage eight. So these are important growth stages for making decisions regarding fungicide application. Fixed growth stage eight is typically the growth stage at which we recommend most foliar fungicides be applied to effectively control diseases such as powdery mildew, stagonospora, septoria, and even leaf rust if leaf rust shows up.